All right, we want to get back to the latest on the state budget. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis live in Hartford now. All right, thanks again, uh, Scott. And Ed. as I said earlier, the governor will start running the state by executive order with deep spending cuts starting next week. There are probably more holes in this thing than Swiss cheese. The governor says the House Democrats plan has no chance with him because it has a whopping tax increase. I have said uh, that budget discussions cannot be led with revenue. I've said that since January. And what do they lead with? Revenue. The sales tax 6.99 allows us to keep municipalities whole for the most part. The Speaker of the House and the House Majority Leader say they want to bring their two-year budget plan up for a vote July 18th. It allows for an even higher tax on food and beverage in restaurants and bars by giving cities and towns the option to hike the sales tax on those items to 7.99 percent. It was immediately shot down by the House Republican leader as unworkable. There are tax increases in there, which is what we've been talking about for how long that we certainly cannot support. Because there will be no votes on anything in the House tonight or tomorrow, Governor Malloy will start running the state by executive order on Friday. I wanted to express my uh, disappointment and concern that uh, we were not able to go forward and enact the proposal for a uh, three-month budget. In a show of bipartisan unity, Senate Democrats and Republicans appeared together to say they were ready to pass the 90-day mini-budget. The Senate Republican leader saying the House Democrats' two-year plan has over $800 million in tax hikes. That's a non-starter, uh, that large amount of taxes. That, of course, was Senator Len Fasano, the Republican leader in the Senate. The previous speaker was Senator Martin Looney of New Haven, of course, the Democratic Senate president pro tem, who further dashed the House Democrats' uh, wishes of doing this uh, two-year budget plan on July the 18th by saying he's not sure that he would go along with doing a vote on July the 18th. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.